Brain health right now is at its infancy. We're probably 20 years behind heart health. I don't think this is something that you want to just push off to the side. You can't hide from this anymore. When does the function of our brain start to not recover and return us back to our baseline? How many concussions will do that? We don't know those answers. Having the NCAA and the DOD involved in a comprehensive study is really critical to make this a national effort. This is a launching point, a foundation for a lot of future research on concussion. Because this is, again, not just a problem here at the Air Force Academy or, or NCAA or DOD. It's really actually an issue throughout society. This project, the CARE Consortium, is a massive undertaking. It took a really sizable investment in the neighborhood of roughly $30 million. The scientific protocol that is required of these sites is, is the most ambitious ever undertaken. No one's ever endeavored to enroll a study that could potentially answer these fundamental questions in a way that gives us real objective evidence. The NCAA and the Department of Defense have the capability to expand this across the entire membership, which is really exciting. The strength of this study is the numbers, the richness of the data set. And so by having 30 institutions across the country, Division One, Two, and Three athletes, as well as this population of cadets, that really creates a rich data set that we can look at to get this information. If we're not being scientific in researching this injury, it could change the way that we look at all sports. It could change the way that we let our kids go out and play. I think it's important to make sure that we are catching up from a medical research side and medical body of knowledge to where we need to be to answer the questions about concussion. The overwhelming majority of, of studies, uh, certainly north of, of 90 percent, have focused uh, almost exclusively on male athletes and nearly all of those studies have involved only male football players. The hope and, and the aim of the CARE Consortium is that it overcomes uh, many of those limitations and has a, has a more direct and immediate impact. I think that this study will hopefully advance our collective understanding of concussions, how to treat them, their life cycle, and allow us to continue to evolve our standard of care. I think everyone realizes how important this project is, how important brain health is, and really the success here has been due to the collaboration and cooperation from all of these parties.